All right, hello, MUCT113L class. This is your remote lecture for week five. For week five. All right, let's go ahead and warm up with our set of solfege scales, including all the modal scales. Let's go in this order. You may notice that um, we're not going to go in the exact order. The, the orders that we've gone in previously are uh, the modal scales from Lydian down to Locri, and then kind of back up to major and then chromatic. We'll just uh, we'll we'll change it up just a little bit. We will start with Lydian, then we'll skip down to Mixo. Uh, excuse me, down to uh, actually uh, Mixolydian. Then we'll go up to major, then down to natural minor. Then uh, Dorian, harmonic minor, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then Phrygian, melodic minor, Locrian, and chromatic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ten scales that we know. Okay? Let's go ahead and try those out just so you can uh, get used to scales that change more than just one note from scale to scale. This might be a little awkward at first. I'll sing it slow. Sing it with me as many times as you need to start feeling comfortable with that. All right, here we go. Starting with Lydian. Two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fi, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fi, mi, re. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do, te, la, so, fa, mi. all through this classroom, um, trying to get them before they fly into my face. All right, so uh, we will uh, work again on Friday, uh, tuning these in kind of, you know, a little bit of out of order, just to kind of see where we are. All right, let's, now that we're warmed up, let's go into the Berkowitz book and sing, beginning on page 48, please. Can you jump uh, page 48? <laughs> Oh, 
on page 48, we begin with number 206, 206. I just rolled for you D minor. Our first note will be sol. Okay, and uh, note how it says in the paragraph just above number 206 that ties are included in many of the melodies from this point on. Uh, <clears throat> Remember, uh, we've, we've done these in the Kazez, I mean, from the very beginning. Uh, but just remember, uh, when you have a tie across a beat or a tie across the bar line, very important that you subdivide. That you subdivide. Otherwise, in the first complete measure of number 206, there's really, if you don't subdivide, there's no, really nothing to tell you where that C comes in um, as it ascends downward. Really nothing at all. It could be, be anywhere between beat 2 and beat 3. But if you subdivide, you find it's exactly on the end of 2. Alright, so let's give this one a try. 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2. So do te le so fa so le te le so fa me me le so Okay, so just make sure you subdivide carefully, they come right off of there. Okay, we'll do the same thing, except with 16th notes, so the subdivision at the level of the double subdivision in number 207, Vivace, key of E-flat major, we are tying to 16th notes here. 16th notes here, let's try it out. Okay, key of E-flat major, do, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna drop it down the octave here, do. Okay, let's try this one. One and two e and do. One e and a, two e and do. Re mi re do. Re mi re do. Mi so mi re do ti la so. Re. Re, mi, so, la, so, fa, so, so, fa, mi, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, do, fa, so, la, fa, so, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, re, do. Okay. And uh, let's try number 208. Alamancia, like a march. Uh, we're in tenor clef here, so the four sharps refer to the key of E major. Alright, 
Uh, we're going to do a couple more here. Should be about three more. Uh, beginning uh, with number 209, uh, so notice that they are beginning with upbeats or anacruses or pickup notes. Now you've been doing this in your uh, homework assignments for uh, quite a long time now, so this is no uh, uh, particular difficulty for you. Um, there are triplets, triplets in this example. And remember we talked uh, last week about what a triplet really is. It's just borrowing the groove from compound meter, or 6-8 six, six, time or 9-8 time compound meter, it's borrowing the groove from there and putting it into the groove of simple meter. Okay, so it's compound meter, of course, the first level of subdivision is 3, whereas compound is 2, so you're borrowing subdivision into 3 into where it is normally 2. Okay, and that is what we know as a triplet. Let's try number 209. This is in the key of F sharp minor. Starts on sol, nice and slow. One and two and three and four. Sol do, sol le, fa sol fa me fa sol le sol, sol re, sol me. Okay, and uh, number 210 has a, a pickup. This is an interesting pickup because it's not uh, equal to one beat uh, or even half of a beat. It's a two-thirds of a beat because we were in 6-8 time. So if you were counting number 210 and 6, this would come in on beat 5. Or if you're counting it in 2, as I will, uh, it's coming in on the and of 2. Okay, key of D major here. comes in on me. I'll give you the bit of that subdivi uh, subdivided measure, not even the whole thing. One E and, uh, oh, let's see. One, oh, I'll give you a whole measure. One and uh, two E and uh, and uh, one E and uh, and uh, two. Mi, fa, sol, mi, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, re, sol, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, re, mi, Try this one, number 211, number 211, key of uh, E flat major. E flat major. Beginning on me, this is a cut time example, so I'll give you two measures in cut time. One E and uh, two E and do one e and uh, two mi fa sol do do ti do re do ti la sol la ti do ti do re mi fa mi re mi fa sol do do fa sol la sol la ti Alright, so that's good uh, uh, warming up through the Berkowitz. Let's go over to the Kazez book now, please. Over to the Kazez book and please 
Get yourself uh, over to page 74. 74. Okay, on Friday, in Friday's class, I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about hypermeter, which is going to be a, more on page 75, but let's finish up the exercises we were working on uh, at the first part, through the first part of chapter 5, and uh, beginning with number 145, top of page 74. Okay, this is the double-dotted whole note, the double-dotted whole note in um, a simple time. Uh, where the half note receives the beat. Okay, so just like in 4-4 time, for instance, the double dotted uh, half note receives three and a half beats in 4-2 time, as number 145 is, uh, the double dotted whole note receives three and a half beats. Let me count you in one measure and we'll be there. One, and two, E, and uh, three, and four, and. T T T T T T T T T T T T T Okay, put it into context. Remember one forty six. Careful on 146, remember that very last measure, that whole note that's got brackets, that's called a brev, that's equivalent to a double whole note. In this case, it will receive two complete, uh, excuse me, one complete measure. One, and two, e, and a three, and four. T, 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 T. T, 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 Tiki T, 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 off. And let's finish up our uh, journey here through the Kazez uh, for this time with number 147, the more challenging one part exercise. Um, you'll notice what makes it challenging, among uh, other things, are uh, shifting meters between 2 2 and 3 2 time. A lot of syncopation type figures, and of course, the single slashes through the notes. Okay, just keep in mind what those mean. So, a quarter note with a slash through it, the slash refers to a single flag, so as many single flag notes or eighth notes fit into a quarter note, which is two. Just two. There are just a lot of them here, so try this. We'll do this relatively slowly, number 147, so we can get into it. Two measures in 3-2 time, and then we'll be in 1 and 2 E and a 3 and 1 E and a 2 and 3 and T, 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 Ticky ticky, ticky tea, ticky ticky, ticky ticky, ticky ticky, tea tea, tea tea, tea ticky, tea ticky, tea ticky, tea ticky, ticky ticky, ticky, ticky ticky, ticky tea, ticky ticky, tea tea. T, T, T. Good. All right. That's a, that's a little bit of a tough one. It gives you uh, some interesting cross rhythms and things going on of that nature. We might review that on Friday. Um, I'm not entirely sure I didn't make a mistake in there. You guys can tell me if I did. 
All right, now let's go over and do some harmonic dictation. Now, generally, when I introduce something new, I usually uh, you know, uh, introduce it in Friday's class first before uh, throwing it on you in a midweek lecture because, of course, you can't answer, uh, you can't ask questions. But this is um, we've been we've done enough harmonic uh, dictation by now that you know the basics, and I think uh, I can trust you guys to to do something a little bit new. We're moving away. You know, you, the last couple of weeks, you know, we've been doing uh, pre-pre-harmonic dictation one and two with seventh chords. Okay, We're going to continue doing that on Friday. But for right now, I want to add a little something to the harmonic dictation level to which we have advanced, which is pre-harmonic dictation two, the last step before we get to actual SATB harmonic dictation. But you may have noticed that we've only done pre-harmonic dictation to in major mode. So I do want to talk about doing it in minor mode. Uh, so let's get through those. The, uh, the, the, the systems of extrapolation of deducing the chords are exactly the same, except there's a little bit of a twist because minor mode, as you know, is a little bit different than major mode. So let's put down a bass clef here in minor mode. Let's just talk about all the possibilities we have. Talk about all the possibilities we have in the modes. Now, you may notice, notice something a little bit different here. I've put an extra note. Now, you may wonder, why did you put that extra note in? Or you might be wondering, why didn't you put two extra notes in? Because, as you know, uh, the number of notes that are considered kind of diatonic in the minor mode, there are two more of them than there are in major mode. In major mode, there are seven. In minor mode, there are nine because you have the option of lowering or raising the sixth scale degree, the sixth and seventh scale degrees, depending on whether you're using natural uh, minor mode, melodic minor mode, or harmonic minor mode. Um, so I've raised the uh, seventh scale degree, which is uh, a common occurrence in minor mode, but not the sixth scale degree. And the only re the, the reason I do it is because I'm going in this kind of first pass through it, I'm going to use chords that are, are um, most commonly encountered. And uh, har you know, harmonies that use the raised sixth scale degree are encountered, but not very commonly, not at this very basic level. So we're going to leave that one out for now. We'll get into it eventually. Uh, but right, for right now, we're dealing with eight possibilities rather than seven. Of course, this is an extremely important note, as you know. Second most important note of the solfege scale after Do is T. But when it's not necessarily going to be T and maybe Te, that changes things up significantly. So let's look at all the chords that are possible for each of those notes. I would suggest, strongly suggest, that you copy these down, write them down, copy them down, so that you can use them when, uh, at the end of the uh, remote lecture today. Uh, we do the, uh, the four examples you're going to need to turn in for your attendance on Friday. All right, so beginning with... Do in the bass, we have a number of options. Actually, it's the same options, but in minor mode, the options have a different sound. Okay, in major mode, you know there are certain chords that are major, some that are minor, uh, one that's diminished. There are different options here in minor mode. So the first thing, one uh, Do in the bass, it can be the root position one chord, which is minor. It can be the first in uh, version six chord, which is major, and it can be the second in version four chord, which is minor again. The two chord. The two chord can be the root position diminished. Remember, the two chord in minor mode is diatonically diminished, just as the seven seven chord in major is. Okay, so it can be that. And I'm going to uh, skip a little uh, before I explain something else. It can also be. Um, actually, I'm not going to skip. Never mind. Uh, it can be the first inversion chord of something on the seventh scale degree, scale degree, but as you remember, we have options as relates to the seventh scale degree. They can be either T or T. So, if the root of a first inversion chord with D in it is T lowered seventh scale degree, then this will be major seven six. Remember the seven seven chord in minor built on the lowered seventh scale degree is a major triad. If, however, it's built on T, 
then this would be the 7 diminished 6 chord, which you uh, actually recognize from major mode. It's the same. Okay, and then if it, uh, there are more options. It could be the 5 chord. Okay, but again, the 5 chord has as its most important pitch the 7th scale degree, which can be lowered or raised. So if it was based on te, this would be a lowercase 564, and if it's based on t, it'll be an uppercase 564. Now before you freak out, this is the only chord that has that many options in it. Okay, it has that many options. The rest of these are not going to have this. They're, mo most of these chords are going to have the same number of options, three, that you'd already experienced. But the, the uh, D has a whole lot of options to it. Luckily, though, the options are all based on the seventh scale degree at this point. And the seventh scale degree is easy to hear. If you're not sure what it is, sing T. And if it fits, you know it's got to be one of the ones that deal with the seventh scale degree. And if it doesn't fit, if T fits, rather, then it'll be one of the others. Okay, let's go on. May, that's a three chord, major. It could also be a first inversion one chord, and it can also be a second inversion six chord, also major. Fa in the bass, root position four, minor. It can be first inversion two diminished. And uh, again, because of T and Te, we've got one extra option. If it's based on Te, it will be the major 764, and based on T, it will be 7 diminished 64. This one just as in major. Fifth scale degree. Okay, if it is uh, root position, it can be the 5 chord. It can be either the minor 5 chord using this note or the major 5 chord using, using this note. It can also be major 3 6, and it can also be 1 6. Four. Lay, root position major six. It can be first inversion four and also second inversion diminished two. So again, this one uh, relatively easy to find because you have three options, each which are different one from the other major, minor, diminished. Okay, seventh scale degree lowered if it's in root position. It can be the seven chord in first inversion can be the minor 5-6. Uh, the reason it's not minor 5-6 and there's no major option is because it is te already. Okay, major 5 has t. Um, and can also be 3-6-4 um, in major. The seventh scale degree raised can be, as you would expect from major mode, diminished. It can be the major 5-6, and it could, we'll, 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 we're not going to talk about the augmented 3 chord right now, we'll just leave that one out of the discussion, and actually we don't need that, we've got that already. Okay, so as you can see, in this case you actually have one less, one fewer option of the options, this and this and this and this are the same, this has one more, and this has two more, but they are based on the presence or absence of T versus Te. Okay? So, write this down. You're going to need it on Friday, but for right now, um, for right now, and you can, of course, go back, and I'll give you a good shot here of it if you want to pause uh, the video on YouTube and copy it down. For now, I'm going to erase this, and we're going to do four examples. I'm going to do four examples. We're going to try this out, and we'll check them in Friday's class. So let's begin with this. All right, and there are going to be six chords. This is number one. They all are all going to begin with Do in the bass and a minor one in the space below. All right, here we go. Use the very same procedures you have always used. Very same procedures. You're going to listen to the bass, and then you're going to listen to the qualities of the chords, and you're going to extrapolate out what they are. Here we go. Number one. I'll play each of these two times.
again. Ready? Okay, another set of six, starting in the same place. Here we go, ready? Six more chords, starting here. And remember, um, depending on what we do with the seventh scale degrees, if there are any in the bass line, you may or may not need accidentals. Be careful of that. Be careful of that. All right, here we go. Ready. Try that again. Sorry about that mistake. Uh, second time through. Ready and. these. I know it's a little bit of a challenge, but we'll check these on uh, Friday and we'll drill some more of them just to, to make sure that we know where we're going with this. Okay, good luck.